Shalom, 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 Israel. This is uh, Captain Paul Israel from Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC. And today's class lesson is going to be on the book of Revelation, chapter 19, breakdown video, part two. Again, Israel, today's class topic is going to be on the book of Revelation, chapter 19, breakdown video, part two. Okay, Israel, so get out your pen and notepad because this is going to be a good lesson. Uh, to basically go into conclusion of the book of Revelation chapter 19 uh, Breakdown understanding Okay Israel So we're going to start out in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 19 verse 11 Okay because we left off in the uh, earlier lesson on the book of Revelation uh, Chapter 19 breakdown video part 1 We left off on the Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 Now we're going to be getting into the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 11 Okay so again we got the understanding in the revelation series that this is going into john the revelator writing this information down on the isle of patmos okay john the revelator was the last of those 12 disciples remaining okay to the, to basically to basically deliver the word to the hebrew israelites in these last days okay so this is why we have the holy bible to this day okay because this is a message to the children of israel okay to learn yahweh's righteousness by learning his commandments okay so this is of course john the revelator speaking these words as far as writing this information down okay so this is the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 11 and of course john the revelator is seeing a vision of future events uh that's going to happen on earth okay so this is the coming understanding of the black messiah when he makes his second coming okay so this is the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 11 and i saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war so you see this israel so john the revelator is seeing what well, he said heaven open meaning he's seen now the black messiah return that's what he's getting into when he says heaven open it's talking about the black messiah's return and behold a white horse now john the revelator is going to describe this particular uh device that yahshua hamashiach is going to be on top of so when it says white horse it's not talking about a literal white horse it's talking about a chariot which is going into a spaceship okay so now when it says behold a white horse is talking about a chariot okay because the chariots appear to be having like a certain ball of light surrounding the actual chariot or, or spaceship because the chariot has power okay so it, it has basically resembling a white light okay circumstance surrounding the ship okay and it says and i saw heaven open so now john the revelator is seeing the black messiah returning to earth okay but he's going to be on a particular device and behold a white horse so now john the revelator is saying i see the son of man on top of a chariot or on top of a spaceship okay this is what john the revelator is saying metaphorically okay and he it says and he that sat upon him so now john the revelator is saying he that sat upon this particular ship right this particular spaceship or quote unquote chariot the he that sat on top of this ship or he that sat on top of this uh chariot it says he that sat upon him was called faithful and true so that's talking about the black messiah that's talking about yahshua hamashiach was the one being observed on top of this spaceship coming to earth okay and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war so again yahshua hamashiach is coming back to judge these gentile nations for their evil deeds and also he's coming back to judge the wicked doers of our nation of people who did not want to keep yahweh's commandments 
okay and it says and make war so yahshua hamashiach is all about warfare when his second coming is going to happen okay so yahshua hamashiach is coming not to just bring peace on earth he's coming to bring warfare and the government elites already know this information okay so we have to let the bible be true and every man a liar so as you can see the black messiah is coming to make war with these gentile nations Contrary to what these religions are talking about, Christ come to bring peace and all everybody come together holding hands. No, that's not in this Bible. Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is coming to make war with these Gentile nations primarily. Okay, because these Gentile nations are ruling this earth. And Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is coming to remove these Gentile nations from their position of power. Okay, because Yahshua HaMashiach is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that's going to be reigning on this earth. Okay, these Gentile nations are on its way up out of rulership. Okay, this is what the Bible says. So John the Revelator saw the black Messiah coming on the scene on earth as if the heaven opened up because this ship is going to be a big ship. Okay, that's what he's saying. This spaceship that Yahshua Hamashiach is going to be basing on top of is going to be a big situation that's going to be as if the heaven opened up. Okay, and Yahshua Hamashiach is being referred to as being faithful and true because he is what he is righteous and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war because the nations of the other nations or these gentile nations are are basically going to get judged okay this is what the bible says okay so now we go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 12 his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself okay so again this is going to yahshua hamashiach a description of his appearance of understanding of his facial recognition okay so yahshua hamashiach is going to have a crown on his head because he's he's the king okay uh, and it said his eyes were as a flame of fire and we already got the understanding why it said his eyes was red like a flame of fire or his eyes were as a flame of fire okay because yashua hamashiach is what he drinks wine in moderation okay so his eyes has the resemblance of being like a flame of fire okay because yashua hamashiach drinks wine okay we learned that in uh in the book of genesis understanding and um uh, it says and on his head were many crowns because yahshua hamashiach is the king and it says and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself because again yahshua hamashiach true name is going to be revealed in these last days when he make his second coming because most of these people that's walking this earth, these of these Hebrew Israelites claiming that they know Yahshua HaMashiach's true name. Okay, which they do not. That's what it says. And he had a name written that no man knew, but he himself. Okay, so when Yahshua HaMashiach make his second coming, you're going to get the understanding of what his true name is. Because why? Because we're going to know what the truth is when yahshua hamashiach comes on the scene during his second coming it's not going to be no more confusion going on okay so there's also to also to this this is basically a cut revelation chapter 19 verse 12 was a cut to the black only hebrew israelites you know or the black hebrews that's out there that's teaching people that they know the name <laughs> 
right? They don't know the name. This is what the Bible says. It says that no man knew, but he himself. Okay, but again, as long as you're calling on Yahshua HaMashiach or you calling on Yahweh Shai, right? long as you're calling on the name pertaining to the hebrew israelite understanding you should be fine okay because yahweh know what you're trying to say and what type of godhead that you're calling on okay because we got to understand we are in the land of our captivity okay but eventually in the future we're going to get yahshua hamashiach's true name okay when we are speaking that pure hebrew tongue dialect okay in the future okay so now we go to the book of revelation now we're going to go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 13 okay we're going to go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 13 it says um and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of elohim so again uh, it says Yahshua HaMashiach was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. So when it says clothed with a vesture, that's type that's talking about a form of clothing. Okay, dipped in blood. Why is Yahshua HaMashiach's clothing dipped in blood? It's because in warfare, there's going to be a lot of blood to be shed. So Yahshua HaMashiach is coming to make war with these nations okay so it's going to be a lot of killing going on when yahshua hamashiach the black messiah going to make his second coming and his name is called the word of elohim so again yahshua hamashiach is the word of the mosai in the flesh okay his name is true okay so again we're going to be knowing who yahshua is about because he's declaring yahweh's word by making his second coming to bring judgment on these gentile nations that's what this is getting into where it says his name is called the word of elohim okay it's going into yahshua hamashiach has come to bring judgment based upon the word of the most high and he's coming in the name of the word of the most high so that's why his name is called the word of the most high or the word of elohim okay and let's get the definition of vesture okay vesture by definition a covering garment such as a robe or vestment clothing apparel something that covers like a garment so again yahshua hamashiach was wearing something like a robe okay something like a garment okay because garment is a form of clothing the men of the most High generally wore robes okay with pants underneath okay so this is what yahshua hamashiach is coming back with with a robe like clothing attire with pants on okay so you got the understanding of that understanding that yahshua hamashiach is coming to make war with the nations and also he's going to be doing a lot of killing and this is why it's going to be a lot of blood on his particular garment okay and yahshua hamashiach is not to come to bring peace on earth but he's coming to bring judgment okay point blank period so now we go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 14 it says and the armies which were in heaven follow him upon white horses clothed in fine linen white and clean you see this israel it says and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses so it says the armies which were in heaven follow him so the armies is talking about that follow yahshua hamashiach is talking about the holy angels okay and the holy angels what did they wear it says they was clothed and fine linen so again the holy angels had clothing on okay white and clean so again the holy angels had white apparel so if the holy angels have white apparel right that, that was dressed looking clean right that's going into also you have to fit the 144,000 men of israel into that equation as well because they are the holy angels as well so they're going to be clothed in white linen as well 
the 144,000 men of Israel, because they're going to be all united with the Most High Son when Yahshua HaMashiach make his second coming on earth. Okay, so you have a team unit wearing all white apparel, okay, which would be classified as fine linen, okay, white and clean. So they're going to have clean garments on. The holy angels of the Most High are going to have clean white garments on. When Yahshua HaMashiach make his second coming on earth. And Yahshua HaMashiach is rolling with the host of the holy angels. Okay. As you can, as you can see. Okay. And also it says. And the armies which were in heaven follow him upon white horses. Again. The holy angels are going to be in those chariots. Okay. The chariots are going into those white horses. Or those chariots is talking about those spaceships that had the appearance of being white because the chariots or those spaceships push off a certain type of power lighting effect around the ship. Okay, so this is what the holy angels are going to be coming inside with. Okay, the chariots. Okay, as well, just like Yahshua HaMashiach is coming back with the chariot okay or with the spaceship okay but yashua hamashiach is going to be positioned on top of the ship okay this is what john the revelator is, is basically describing in this understanding on yashua hamashiach's return okay so now we got the understanding of that understanding that the holy angels are going to be wearing white apparel yashua hamashiach is also going to be making his second coming understanding on top of that spaceship okay and he's gonna have clothing on as well okay uh so we're gonna go to the book of revelation uh chapter 19 verse 15 it says and out of his mouth go of a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty elohim whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute you see this israel when it says and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations that just talking about yahshua hamashiach is going to have a sword in his hand okay yahshua hamashiach is going to have a sword in his hand that's going to cut down these nations in the middle of that world war three battle that the gentile nations are going to be doing okay and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So when these Gentile nations are destroyed of their rulership, right? Yahshua HaMashiach shall rule the nations with a rod of iron. So that doesn't sound like peace and loving hands, right? If you're ruling somebody with a rod of iron, that's a fierce type of anger right there. That's if you better do what I tell you to do or you're going to get put to death. Okay, so Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is coming to rule these Gentile nations with fierceness. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness, right? That's that word fierceness. He treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty Elohim. So Yahshua HaMashiach is going to be destroying these Gentile nations in a bloody warfare situation. Okay, it equivalent to somebody that's stepping on some grapes in a wine press okay so yashua hamashiach is going to be doing a lot of killing equivalent to somebody that's actually stepping foot on a wine press with a lot of uh grape juice on their feet or legs so yashua hamashiach is going to be basically doing a lot of killing okay that's what it's saying and wrath of almighty elohim because the order for these gentile nations to be destroyed in this particular battle okay it's coming from the most high yah's order that yahshua hamashiach is going to destroy these gentile nations in battle okay because these gentile nations are ruling in wickedness okay so this is this is yahweh's order to basically so this is yahweh's order to basically remove the gentile nations from rulership okay okay so in the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 15 it says and out of his mouth go of a sharp sword that 
with it he should smite the nation so i'm gonna prove that this sharp sword is not literally talking about a sword that's going to go out of his mouth it's not talking about it. it's talking about yashua hamashiach having the sword in his hand the precept this understanding will be revelation it'll be revelation chapter 14 verse 14 to prove that yashua hamashiach is going to have a sword in his hand uh when his second coming is going to happen and i look and beheld i mean and i look and behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle and in his hand a sharp sickle this sharp sickle is going into like a sword okay so yashua hamashiach is going to have a sword in his hand so just like i stated earlier that uh john the revelator said also and uh, um i say revelation what is go back revelation we go back to revelation so we go back to revelation 19 verse 12 it says his eyes were a flame of fire and his head were many crowns talking about yashua hamashiach that's going to have a crown on his head right he's going to have a crown on his head revelation chapter 19 says that but also you go uh to revelation chapter 14 verse 14 it says having on his head a golden crown so yashua is going to basically have a crown in his head so i'm precepting the understanding that john the revelator is just basically somewhat repeating itself a little bit on the understanding on yashua's second coming just like here he said behold a white cloud and upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man the son of man is talking about the black messiah is going to be positioned on top of this chariot or spaceship that's being referred to as a white cloud because it has the appearance of a white uh it has the appearance of something being white floating in the sky so it's going into that cloud or that spaceship okay it's not literally talking about a cloud just like it's not literally talking about a white horse uh when we go back to uh revelation chapter 19 verse 11 see revelation type revelation chapter 19 verse 11 says behold a white horse okay we read revelation chapter um 14 verse 14 it says a white cloud so it's not talking about a cloud and it's not talking about a horse so it's talking about a spaceship so john the revelator just using metaphors okay as you can see the bible doesn't contradict itself so Again, Christianity has the white Jesus on top of a horse, or Christianity will have uh, Christ on top of the horse, uh, on top of the clouds, like an actual cloud, right? But that's not what this is talking about. Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is going to be positioned on top of the chariot or spaceship coming to make his entrance passing through the clouds that's in the sky because the chariots or those spaceships fly in the sky okay that's what john the revelator is saying in this context in the book of revelation chapter 14 verse 14 and also he's saying uh it in revelation chapter 19 verse 11 okay understanding that yashua hamashiach is going to be positioned on top of the chariot or top of the uh spaceship okay to make war with these gentile nations okay that's what it's getting into and also Yahshua HaMashiach is going to have a sword in his hand when we got the understanding in the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 14 that of course um, is precepting the understanding of Revelation chapter 19 verse 15 that Yahshua is going to have a sword in his hand but it, when it says mouth goeth a sharp sword again it's talking about Yahshua is going to have a sword in his hand okay that with it he shall smite the nations because yahshua is going to judge the nations with that sword in his hand that's what john the revelator is saying in the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 15 okay so now we got the understanding of revelation chapter 19 verse 15 breakdown and let's go to the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 16 it says and he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and lords of lords so you see this israel so again yahshua hamashiach is going to have 
clothing on. That's what vesture means. Vesture means clothing. And on his thigh, a name written. Because again, it's going to be a name written on his clothing or garment. King of kings and Lord of lords. Because Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is the king of kings and Lord of lords. And these Gentile nations are going to realize that when he make his second coming because right now the gentile nations primarily worship the white jesus right they worship that white jesus understanding right but eventually they're gonna realize who the real king of kings and lord of lords are when the black messiah yashua hamashiach make his second coming on top of that spaceship to bring judgment to these gentile nations and also to bring judgment to our people who did not want to keep his father's commandments okay that's what this is getting into okay yashua hamashiach is coming back not to play revelation chapter 19 verse 17 and i saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great elohim so you see this israel so there was a particular angel right standing in the sky right that was kind of like in the position of the visibility of the sun situation right in the sky and he's screaming out to the other angels right that's flying in the sky with those chariots in the midst of heaven He's saying, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Elohim. So now those holy angels are now coming to bring battle or coming to make war. So those holy angels are now gathering themselves together to make war with these Gentile nations in the middle of this World War Three scenario. OK, so that's what it's getting into, that the angels of the Most High are going to join battle with Yahshua HaMashiach to go to war with these gentile nations that's what it's saying okay revelation chapter 19 verse 18 it says this is of course the holy angel uh speaking to the other angels and he's having a conversation with the holy angels and saying this unto them it said revelation chapter 19 verse 18 that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free and bond both small and great whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute so you see this israel so now the holy angel is now commanding or directing the other holy angels to now say hey now it's time to go to war with these nations that's ruling this earth that's why it said the flesh of kings that's going into the rulers of these gentile nations and the flesh of captains that's going to your generals of the army and the flesh of mighty men okay that's going into your military men or your navy ships or your, your navy soldiers or your um marines any military government sector of these gentile nations that holy angels are going to make war with and the flesh of horses so when it says and the flesh of horses that's talking about defeating the gentiles uh vehicles like as far as army tanks trucks planes jets again because these gentile nations in this world war three scenario are going to have these type of devices okay so the holy angels are going to destroy these type of uh, mechanical devices but basically primarily that army tank is going to be destroyed because again these gentile nations boast about their army tanks like it's going to do something but these holy angels are going to defeat their army tanks and also their, their weapons and stuff like that. And of them that sit on them, because again, you have army men or military men sitting on top of these tanks or trucks or vehicles or even um, planes or so forth, trying to attack, uh, you know, the holy angels in this scenario. But again, the Gentile nations are going to lose this war because, again, you can't go to war with the angels of the most high yah and think you're going to defeat the holy angels uh and it says and the flesh of all men both free and bond both small and great because again the holy angels of the most high are coming to what put all nations in check okay they're going to destroy the regular gentile nations that's not really affiliated with the military 
right see it says and the flesh of all men both free and bond both small and great so again the gentile nations primarily are going to be destroyed or be basically put in self-servitude after this big major war is going to happen so it's not just oh the gentile army is just going to be destroyed it's also going to be a portion of the regular gentile nations that that's going to get the judgment of the most high okay so again christianity is basically striking out again <laughs> you know what i mean christianity trying to save everybody you can't save everybody when you as you can see the judgment is going to happen on the regular civilians of the other nations the judgment is going to also happen with of course these armies of the other nations okay so the judgments on the most high is going to be in full effect with these gentile nations period whether they're in the military or not whether they're just civilians or whether it or whether they're in some type of military or government sector they all going to get the judgment okay because y'all sure how much she is the king of king and lords and lords revelation chapter 19 verse 19 and i saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army so now john the revelator is seeing what the other nations right primarily of course the so-called white man that's why he refers to uh the so-called white man as being that beast right because america is basically that reference to being the beast because america is the superpower of the world and i saw the beast talking about america and the kings of the earth meaning those other gentile nations outside of america and their armies because again these gentile nations going to have armies right especially the european union sector they have a lot of armies uh and also these other gentile nations like the chinese uh japanese um uh, taiwan india saudi arabia iran all these gentile nations and also the african nations as well they they're going to have a military battle going on and they gather it says gather together to make war so all these gentile nations basically they are gathering themselves to go to war with yahshua hamashiach the black messiah uh while he's positioned on top of this chariot okay when it says sat on the horse talking about yahshua hamashiach sat on this chariot or positioned himself on top of the chariot with a sword in his hand and against his army so these gentile nations are going to try to go against yahshua hamashiach the black messiah and also they're going to try to go against the holy angels okay so again yahshua hamashiach is coming to bring judgment on the world for evil and also the holy angels are going to be in agreement with yahshua hamashiach to bring judgment on these gentile nations as well as you can see because the gentile nation armies believe that they're going to win this battle but of course you know they're going to lose <laughs> uh revelation chapter 19 verse 20 and the beast was taken you see it said and the beast was taken and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone so as you can see israel it says and the beast was taken talking about america is going to be basically destroyed sometime in the middle of this world war three scenario america is going to be basically destroyed by thermonuclear fire that's why it says and the beast was taken so america aka babylon the great is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire in the middle of this world war three scenario in the midst of yahshua hamashiach's return on earth and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him because again the christianity principle of the promotion of white jesus is is being basically primarily promoted in america pushed to the other nations when america is destroyed the christianity faith is going to be done away with as you can see with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast so again the christianity religion has deceived many people in america primarily and they're gonna what get the same judgment as a so-called white man pushing this fake christianity principles to the earth so again the people that's in the christian faith destiny is the lake of fire <laughs>
okay because the people in the christian faith promote wickedness they don't teach yahweh's commandments properly okay so again the judgment of our people that's following christian faith is the lake of fire in the lake of fire we learn in the other understanding right the early part of revelation chapter 19 part one understanding video that the lake of fire is going to be where america is going to be located at so the lake of fire in the future is going to be where america is located at so again if you in the christianity faith your destiny and your way of your future is going to be in the lake of fire this is what the bible says it says with which he deceived them that have it says, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. Because, again, the people in the Christian faith worship the image of the so-called white man. OK, whether they have that particular image in their house or not. Again, the people that have been deceived with the mark of the beast, understanding, meaning the philosophies, the doctrines of American principles. That's the mark of the beast theoretically, but also it go tap into that Christianity principle understanding. Okay, because this is what the so-called white man been known in history to do to push that white image on top of the political philosophy, on top of the democracy philosophy, on top of you know, everybody can get along with each other. It's all love and happiness, you know, freedom of this, freedom of that. No, 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 no. The Bible is all about Yahweh's righteousness. So America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire because it's is because it's promoting lies. It's, it's basically America is promoting deceit to the world. It says. It says uh, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, because many Americans and citizens of today are deceived. OK, they are, they are deceived about America. And them that worship his image, because many of these people that's living in America worship the so-called white man's image. OK. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So those people that fell in love with America's ideology, right? The mark of the beast is going into those politics, those philosophies, because again, America pushes other religions outside of just Christianity principles. America pushes that you can believe anything, you'll be fine, right? This is what America uh, pushes, right? So again, anybody that's following any religion that's been made of man-made understanding, because that's what religion is, right? Man-made understanding, which goes back into lies. You're going to be destroyed in the lake of fire. That's why I tell my people, right? The Hebrew Israelites. That's why I tell the black Spanish native Indians, right? And those that are dispersed to the four corners of the earth. Y'all have to return to the Most High by learning this Bible, by keeping Yahweh's commandments. So you don't be a part of this lake of fire scenario okay so you have to renew your mind completely because yahweh is not sparing nobody as you can see you know what i'm saying so he's going to destroy you people whoever's following this philosophy of the so-called white man whether you in the christian faith muslim faith any type of faith that you're talking about outside this bible you will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire if you in a, of course america that is okay because america is going to be where the lake of fire is going to be located at okay um this is the book of revelation chapter 19 verse 21 it says and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse which it says which sword proceeded out of his mouth and all the fowls were filled with their flesh so you see this israel so as you can see, the remnant that was slain with the sword of him. So again, it's going to be a portion of the Gentile nations that's going to be destroyed in the middle of World War Three when Yahshua HaMashiach make his second coming. OK, so that that is their destiny. A certain individuals that's going to be destined to be killed by Yahshua HaMashiach's sword, as you can see, because Yahshua HaMashiach is coming to judge these Gentile nations for their evilness. 
and it says which sword proceeded out of his mouth we know that that's talking about the sword it's talking about in his hand okay metaphorical when it says mouth is talking about metaphorical he's gonna have a sword in his hand killing the nations with his sword in the middle of this world war three scenario and all the files were filled with their flesh so again the other nations are going to be destroyed by the holy angels as well Okay, all the files were filled with their flesh because again, Yahshua HaMashiach is going to be doing the killing and also the holy angels are going to be doing the killing of the Gentile nations. Okay, that's what that's saying. Okay, so again, it's a team effort with Yahshua HaMashiach and the holy angels to bring judgment on the world for evilness, as you can see. So Israel, this was an easy breakdown, of course, of the Revelation uh, completion of series in Revelation chapter 19 uh, on down, understanding that we now know that Yahshua HaMashiach is coming to bring judgment on the Gentile nations, and he's going to be on top of a spaceship, understanding to bring judgment, okay, on these Gentile nations. Also, we got the understanding that the holy angels of the Bible are going to be wearing white apparel, and also, they're going to be judging the Gentile nations as well um, to bring judgment to the earth based upon Yahweh's order. Okay, because Yahweh's son, Yahshua HaMashiach, is meant to get the kingdom to be established on earth under his reign. And we got to understand that he was being referred to as being the king, kings, and lord of lords. Okay, so again, Yahshua HaMashiach is coming for bloodshed for these Gentile nations, as you can see. Okay. So, uh, contrary to what these religions are talking about, you need to come out of the ways of the world, Israel. Stop following your, your grandparents. Stop following things that you was taught by your foreparents. You need to come to this Hebrew truth now so you don't be victimized as far as being destroyed by thermonuclear fire in the future. Okay? Because... When you go back to Revelation chapter 19 verse 11, it says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. So Yahshua HaMashiach, the black Messiah, is coming back to make war with the Gentile nations. Okay? And also, too, we got the understanding that, uh, Again, our people that's following religions, again, this is your judgment in the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 20, that you're going to be destroyed along with the so-called white man, okay, in America, or a.k.a. Babylon the Great, or a.k.a. Babylon, if you, if, if you are worshiping, if anybody is worshiping any religion that's made up by the so-called white man or made up by these Gentile nations, you're going to be destroyed into the lake of fire, okay, this is just what this is getting into okay so revelation chapter 19 verse 20 is basically getting into the judgment of those people that's not following this bible as it is written and of course also the gentile nations are going to be destroyed over here in america anyway because <laughs> they're not hebrew israelites okay so and i guess and also too the remnant that is going to be saved in america are hebrew israelites that repented properly and also there is a judgment for certain individuals that are identifying as Hebrew Israelites, but they're going to get their judgment in the wilderness part two. Okay. So, like I said earlier, that's why I had to break this understanding in different parts and different pieces. But in this context, primarily, this is going into the judgment in Revelation chapter 19, verse 20 of those people that's following religions of the so-called white man are those that's following the philosophy the politics um the ideology behind america's principles because america pushes evil throughout the because america pushes evil throughout the earth with uh, of course of course you know america pushes homosexuality america pushes same-sex marriages america pushes uh abortion understand that america pushes a lot of evil throughout this earth because you know abortion is murder okay according to the bible uh so again 
I'm not going to explain everything America has been doing, but we just got the summary understand that America is pushing evil throughout. America is basically pushing evil throughout the earth, and it will be judged by thermonuclear fire when Yahweh put the spirit on these Gentile nations to send that missile over here to destroy America. And also America in this Bible context is basically been referred to as the lake of fire. And it says burning with brimstone. So this place called America is going to be burning forever. Okay. So as you can see, Israel, the Most High is not playing with his people at all. He's not playing with these Gentile nations at all. Okay. So other than that, Israel, hopefully you enjoyed the completion of the book of Revelation chapter 19 breakdown video series. And we're going to get into Revelation 20 uh, series next. Okay. Other than that, Israel, stay tuned for more videos on Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC YouTube town. Other than that, Shalom.